Introduction to Machine Learning Machine Learning is concerned with the giving machine ability to learn by training algorithms on a huge amount of data. It makes uses of algorithm and statistical models to perform a without needing explicit instruction task. Machine Learning often deals with the following issue. First one is a collecting data, second is filtrating data, third is analyzing data, fourth one is training algorithms, fifth one is training algorithms, sixth one using algorithm for feature predictions. Now the fourth one training algorithms and training algorithms it come two times because training algorithm using the ML and training algorithms using AI. Common examples of this phenomena are virtual personal assistance, refined search engine results, image recognition and product recommendation. This is the introduction to machine learning. Now, what is machine learning? University of Washington defined machine learning as a machine learning algorithms can figure out how to perform important tasks by generalizing from examples. ML is abbreviation of machine learning. So ML expert Tom M. Michael says that machine learning is the study of computer algorithms that allow computer programs to automatically improve through experience. In simple words, machine learning involves algorithms that allow computer to learn automatically from previous interactions with users without being distinctly programmed with the help of the neural networks. It is gives computer to the scale learn from previous data without an expert having programmed it. So with the help of the machine learning, a system takes decision based on the previously patterns. So the, this is the general definition of machine learning. Coming back to the next slides. What are the basics of AML that we already know that is a planning, learning, perception, motion, manipulations. The, the general problem of this creating has broken down to the sub-problems. This is the how they process. This consists of a particular sub capability that researchers accept intelligent systems to display. The trait described on the following slides have received the most attention. So this is uh, how what are the basics of the AML that we already gone through. The come to the very important topic now, the reasoning and problem. As we know, the reasoning is the mental process of deriving logical conclusion and making prediction from available knowledge, facts, beliefs. Artificial intelligence, the reasoning is essential to the machine can also think rationally as like a human brain and can perform like human also. So this is a reasoning. In computer science, problems also refers to AI technique, including various techniques such as forming efficient algorithms, hu heuristic and performing root cause analysis to find desirable solution. The basic crux of AI is to solve problem just like humans. Early researcher develop algorithm that imitate step by step reasoning that humans use when they solve puzzles or make logical deductions. By the 1980s or 1980s, the AI research developed with the various common problems or uncertain things to get the reasoning and problems. So the many these algorithms proved to be insufficient or solving large reasoning problem because the experiment they experienced a combinatorial explosion they become exponentially slower as the problem grew larger even humans rarely use the step by step deduction that earlier ai research could model they solve most of their problems using fast intuitive judgment Knowledge. Knowledge representation is the field of artificial intelligence. 
dedicated to representing information about the word in form that computer system can use to solve complex tasks such as diagnosing medical conditions or having a dialogue in a natural language knowledge representation incorporates finding form of psychology about how humans solve problems and represent knowledge in order to design formalisms that make complex system easier to design and build knowledge representation makes complex software easier to define and maintain the procedural code and can be used in expert system knowledge representation and reasoning also incorporate findings from logic to automotive various kinds of reasonings such as the application of rules of the relation and set subjects generally knowledge comes from the uh, data if some if some student asks me what is knowledge so many of the say sir i today i learn these things so this is our knowledge actually whatever you learn that is stored in format of database in our brain so this is just a memory so the memory tell us that if you do your work for 60 minutes the memory will only know the process how we can do it so the 60 minute of real time journey is reduced to only two to three instances instances uh, i am using over this instance that means the pictures so the how the knowledge it can be represent for example if i go to school so generally what we remember i i left my home and i directly sit on my bench this is the i go to school but intermediate we forget that we use bikes public vehicles we have faced lot of problems so this whole 60 minute journey is reduced in only 2 to 3 instances this is how knowledge is speaking so it's just do the outline of the our memories so in the next slide we can see the how the knowledge can be perceptive the so knowledge representation is not just a storing data into some database but it also enables an intelligent machine to learn from the knowledge knowledge and experience that it can be behave intelligently like a human so knowledge is an useful term of judge understanding of an individual on a given subject so by explaining the knowledge figure here it is the knowledge is in center so knowledge is from the structural knowledge the relationship between object and concept this is the structural knowledge means it is having some sort of outline or uh, structure body now the procedural procedural knowledge the rules procedures generally when we are going for the exams we remember that we don't want the professor will not going to help you or they will not allow to do any kind of copy in all those things this is a general procedural knowledge that means you have to come with your books and pens and calculators and only with your intellectual sense to write your paper so this is the rules procedure now third one is the meta knowledge knowledge about knowledge this is called meta knowledge historic knowledge rules of thumbs and the declare 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 active knowledge object facts this is just but how the knowledge it can be deals with the in the tree structures then under the meta knowledge is the knowledge about knowledge that means if you progress for the any kind of new knowledge and form the new formation it is called meta knowledge or it is in the what you call the newest thing formed with the help of the knowledge in short it is a new knowledge whatever you are the heuristic knowledge means a rule of thumb this is generally thumb rules we if i tag the cat if i catch the taxi then i will go to that path and i will reach that spot and i will reach from to my school from that spot to that time so this is heuristic or this is generally thumb rules bhai agar main taxi lunga to mere ko 10 minute lagega taxi 10 minute se ghar pe nikalna 
फिर उसको और टाइम लगेगा ऐसा दिस इज कॉल्ड थ्योरिस्टिक नॉलेज एंड डिक्लेरेटिव नॉलेज दैट इज ऑब्जेक्ट फैक्ट्स और ऑलरेडी रिटर्न दैट इज रूल्स और दैट इज दिस डेटा इज देयर एंड यू हैव टू एक्सेप्ट इट दिस इज अ डिक्लेरेटिव नॉलेज